Well, good afternoon. Um, it's Friday afternoon, May the 21st, and I'd like to share a little Bible with you today. I'm in the parking lot. My wife had to go and get a couple things at the store. It should be a few minutes, so I thought I'd see people walking behind me, shoppers, out uh, where these new stores are in... Um, that's my favorite store right over there, Dollar Tree. I like that store. I can take my grandkids in there and give them, tell them, get anything you want in the store, get any five items you want in the store. And I know I'm really going to get me for five bucks a piece. <laughs> get away with that once with them, then they can't fool them again. But Dollar Tree's a good store. I remember when it was, when they just had old, Overstock, and all they got is Chinese stuff in there now, but they used to have uh, old, you can really get some good, there's still good deals there. I like Dollar Store. I like Dollar Store people. I'm just watching them here going in and out. My wife went to another store. They got these discount stores uh, where they got, anyway, she likes shop there. She went next door to one of the different ones. She went to the Dollar Store, but. I see the people going in and out of the dollar store. They're they're my kind of people. They're regular folks. They're not high minded. Uh, they're not haughty. You know, there's some people wouldn't be seen in a dollar store. Too haughty and high minded and proud and elegant. Do you ever hear these people always talking about name brand, name brand, name brand? Got him name brand. <laughs> Forget it. Get off your high horse. Let's get to the Bible talking about this life Bible come back here. This is my this my in car Bible. It's thin Bible. But it's got and it ain't that bad a print actually. It's got real thin paper. I don't know where I got it from. Someone had it before me, but we're gonna talk about the old past today in Jeremiah chapter six. I'm an old man with old pass. And uh uh, where are we going to start? Uh, chapter 6, verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Prophet Jeremiah always looking for someone. I am too. A lot of times people want to listen. Most people don't want to listen. I have the same problem Jeremiah had. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Oh, nobody likes the Bible today. I can't find anybody who likes the Bible. Very few. Therefore, I am full of fury of the Lord. Jeremiah gets mad. The preacher gets mad. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad. He's going to tell the truth. He's tired of holding it in. Nobody want to listen. They have no delight in it. People don't like the word. Didn't like it then. Thousands of years ago. They don't like it now. Therefore, I am full of fury of the Lord. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of the young men together. For even the husband and the wife shall be taken and the aged him that is full of days and their houses shall be turned unto others, and their fields and wives together. For I will stretch out mine hand upon the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. And from the least of them, even to the greatest of them, every one is given to covetousness. They want other people's stuff. They just greedy got, greedy gut, want stuff. And from the prophet, even the preachers, even unto the priest, Everyone dealeth falsely. Bunch of crooked religion and covetous people from top to bottom. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. That's the way people are today. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. Yeah, at that time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. Watch out. Uh, 
Thus saith the Lord. This is a key verse, verse 16. Thus saith the Lord. Send ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest in your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. We will not walk therein. Old paths. Jeremiah 6, 10 through 16. I love the old prophets. You know, these modern day prophets are a bunch of phonies. Oh, you're going to have health and wealth and prosperity. Oh, go fly a kite. And the people love to hear it and they listen and they bait, bury them in money and so on and so forth. Crooked promise. Read the prophets in the Bible. They, they preach doom and gloom just like this. Give us the old past. Nobody will listen. If they wouldn't listen 2,000 years ago, don't listen today. You know, I, I got trained under the old path. I was saved April 4th, 1969 and I got trained under old time religion. Dr. John R. Rice was my pastor for many years till he died. And then Dr. D Dr. Uh, Jack Hiles was my pastor. And and uh, I followed the uh, old time Baptists like Lester Roloff. And uh, uh, he was a teenage worker there in Corpus Christi, Texas. And uh, Lee Robertson in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And Tom Malone in Pontiac, Michigan, and all the old-time Baptists. And I went back to the um, older, older. I mean, I, I follow, I'm a follower of Charles Finney. Well, he wasn't even a Baptist. He's a Presbyterian evangelist, but he wasn't really a Presbyterian. I mean, as you know, most Presbyterians are hyper-Calvinists. He wasn't by far. In fact, the, um, the Calvinists of them, those days and these days, call him a uh, heretic. He stayed in the Presbyterian Church, and but he 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 wasn't that fatalistic, help Calvinistic people. But I learned under the old folks and D. L. Moody and uh, John Bunyan and on and on. Old paths, old paths, old paths. But you know, most people that I was first saved with, and people down through the ages, even my family today. Um, no old paths no more. Everybody wants new paths. No, nobody wants old paths. I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. I'm an old man. I'm 81, and thank God I can still preach and got my health and pretty well for 81. I'm doing okay. Uh, praying for revival. I pray God give me a couple of years of revival, old time. God, send the old time power, Pentecostal power, thy floodgates of heaven. On us pour open wide, Lord, send the old time power, Pentecostal power, that sinners be converted and thy name glorified. That's all that matters. Forget all this new religion and foolishness and selfishness and covetousness. Give me souls, I die for souls. I have a great saying. Who was it by? It's an old evangelist. I got to get that quote from him again. I'll get it and tell it to you, but I'm going to get it right, get you the guy's name and everything, but I like it. It was quoted by an old friend of mine, good writer, uh, Nat Olson. I like Nat a lot. He was different. He wasn't no Baptist, he was Pentecostal, actually. He's a good writer. He could really write. He, he he was a prolific writer, great writer, and a good man. Had a good heart. He was saved, believed in the security, believed in anything, but he called himself Pentecost. I don't know. I don't know how people that have security the believer in that um, can join uh, Assemblies of God to believe you can lose salvation and all that, and this and that. So, anyway, whatever. Old Paz. I'm old Paz guy. Most everybody I've known down through the years have gone a different direction on new paths a different direction. I haven't. I don't believe the Bible has. That's why I still carry King James Bible. You know, I don't plan on getting rid of it. It's just the Bible. You don't have one Bible. That word of God is settled in heaven forever. Yeah. If you add anything to it, the curses from the Bible are added on you. You subtract from it. End of Revelation, chapter 22. 
your name will be taken out of the book of life it means you go to hell friend oh it don't mean that no that's the problem you don't believe the bible says what it does and there's only one bible and when you take stuff out of it or add to it you're in big 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 trouble give me the old pass give me the old time religion give me the old time religion give me the old time religion it's good enough for me it was good for our fathers it was good for our mothers it was good for our fathers it's good enough for me it was good enough for grandpa it was good enough for grandma it was good enough for my parents it's good enough for me give me the old time religion give me the old time religion give me the old time religion it's good enough for me it was good enough for peter it was good enough for paul it was good enough for matthew trying to find out something to rhyme in here make a verse and it's good enough for me give me the old time religion give me the old paths religion give me the old paths religion give me the old paths that's what our friend jeremiah the weeping prophet who's known as a weeping prophet he says they were all covetous they all went their own way and we'll read the key verse again and we'll leave it they've all gone by the wayside thus saith the lord jeremiah says Stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. And man, I'll tell you one thing. I got rest. You new time religion folks, you ain't got it. You're messed up big time. I know. I, I, I talk to you. I see you. I know who you are. <laughs> but they said, we will not walk they're in. Yeah, they won't. Grandpa, I don't want it. Everybody tells me that now. I don't want it. That's old. Old paths. Yeah. It doesn't change. Never changes. Word of God never changes. Everybody around me is changing. This old grandpa ain't changing. Because God ain't changing. And I'm going to get Revival and Holy Ghost power, the old time religion, the old past, the old way. You won't come along fine. If you don't, adios. Give me the old past. Give me the old time religion. Glory to God.